Hello and welcome to a new feature release video for our Kipware CYC machining cycle time estimating software. Up until the release of this version 7, Kipware CYC was designed to estimate the machining cycle time for a single part. So the concept behind CYC was to take the part through all the machines and all the machining operations on those machines to the final machining of the part. So from start to finish we would do the estimate based on one part completely through the CYC system. With this new release and these new features we're going to be working with multiple parts. So in a milling operation we can work with multiple parts on the table and on the turning operation we can be working with Swiss machines as well as machines with double spindles and double turrets. To give you a little bit better understanding of the concept behind the new features, we'll take you through the milling uh, features first and then the turning features second. So I'm going to load a sample milling estimate that I have. If I can take a look at the operations in the operation list, I can see that we have five operations. And we've done this uh, cycle time estimate for one part, so we've done uh, rough pocketing, drilling, and reaming uh, based on one part. If we open up the option to do multiple parts, you can see that we're looking at the same operations and we're looking at the same times. But now we have the option of doing either a fixture type layout or an indexer type layout. So the fixture type layout would give us multiple pieces on the fixture multiple fixtures and then the distance between the fixtures. In the indexer type layout which is applicable for a fourth axis or a horizontal machining center where you have a tombstone, we can indicate the number of pieces per side on the tombstone, the number of sides of the tombstone that we're going to work with, and then the indexing time for the fourth axis or the indexing table. So to give you an idea of how uh, the concept of the software works. I'm going to do an estimate. Uh, so we've done this estimate for one part and now I'm going to tell it that I have uh, one piece in the fixture. I have six fixtures on the table and I've got 12 inches between each of the fixtures. So if I do a recalc, you can see that we've got now an additional rapid time, a cutting time, and total times for those operations. So a one part a single part on the machine would take us 6.65 minutes. If we put six parts on the machine, the total cycle time would be 34.31 minutes. If we can do the same thing on an indexer, uh, we'll say we have two sides of the indexer, four sides, uh, two pieces per side, four sides, uh, with a 15 second indexing time. And now we can do the recalc using an indexer. And you can see now we have 49.86 as a total cycle time. So we've used our formulas that we've used within Kipware CYC to estimate rapid time. Uh, we've used the cutting parameters in the, in the estimate to do the cutting time. And then we've used our uh, formulas that we use inside of Kipware CYC to add additional handling time based on the indexing of the indexer and the time that it's going to have to take the tool uh, in the rapid time to go back so we have enough room to index the table. All of that is done taken through our calculations that uh, we incorporate inside of Kipware CYC. So this will give you not only a chance to look at how the cycle time would help if you put multiple fixtures on the table or multiple pieces in the fixture as well as to create an estimate uh, doing the machining with that particular uh, type of a setup. If you do the save then we're going to do all the calculations and save the estimate based on the fact that you're going to do in, a, in the indexer uh, case, you're going to do two pieces per side, four pieces or uh, four sides, so you're going to do eight pieces uh, for this cycle time. The turning option is geared towards Swiss tile machines where you have the capability to have multiple tools working at the same time or on a multi-axis lathe where you have double turrets and double spindles. Uh, so if I load an estimate that was made for a lathe, again you can see from the list of operations that we're using a Haas SL10 and we've got four operations, a rough finish and then some grooving operations. If I bring it into the turning, now the turning is a little bit different than what's happening in the milling side with the multiple parts because what we can do on the turning side is we can tell the software which operations are being done by turret A or turret B. So let's say I'm going to do the finished uh, finished turn uh, using my turret 2. So I can move that operation to turret 2. 
and then I'm going to do the finish groove with turret 2. So now we've taken the, the cycle time estimate, which was 20.65 minutes on a single turret machine. And if we move those back over again, now, obviously, on a multiple turret machine, multiple spindle machine, the cycle time is basically the turret that takes the longest time to do its work. So in this case, we've gone to 16.31 minutes on turret A by shifting some of those operations over to turret B. And you can go back and forth with these. I can move this back to turret A. Uh, I can move this back to turret A. And I could try doing it with different combinations to try to get the cycle time down to something that I feel more comfortable with in my double turret or my Swiss style machine. And again, when you save the estimate, the software will go through, I'll do all the calculations and figure out so that the software saves the estimate as a a new estimate using the operations that we've defined here. And when you bring it into Kipware QTE to continue and do your cost estimating, uh, all the calculations will be done uh, internally by the software. In Kipware QTE, we've made a change so that you have the opportunity now to bring in multiple cycle time estimates uh, versus before where you could bring in one cycle time estimate that would have all the operations in it. Now you can bring in multiple cycle time estimates based on what you've done for multiple parts. So that's a look at the new features in Kipware CYC. Uh, the new version is version 7.0 and now we have the ability in CYC to do multiple part calculations uh, quite a bit more accurately uh, than we were doing before. Thank you very much.